Kokoshko Lake is truly one of Bosnia's hidden gems. It's a glacial lake located about 56 kilometers from the capital Sarajevo. We went there to fly our drones and show the world the beauty of this village and the lake. didn't go without problems, our jeep broke down. We had to drive like this. And this. The jeep broke down twice. <laughs> right before we arrived at the location, we had to drive like this too. Let me tell you the full story. It started off by me packing my stuff and leaving Mostar. Prokoshko Lake is like one hour away from Sarajevo. But Mostar is two hours from Sarajevo. So I went at night so I don't have to drive the two hours in the morning. Plus the one hour to Prokoshko Lake which is a three hour drive. So I went at night because we're going to Prokoshko Lake early in the morning. So it was easier to go at night. I booked this Airbnb for 25 euros. How is this so cheap? The drive towards Sarajevo took a while because of the fog. There's always some kind of fog in Sarajevo during winter. As I arrived this Sarajevo, they kind of decorated nicely during winter for New Year's Eve. This is the eternal flame in Sarajevo. It was created for the military and civilian victims of the Second World War. After checking out the city, I went to the apartment to get some sleep and to get ready for tomorrow. And I woke up to this beautiful Sunday morning the next day. So I was so optimistic about our trip to Prokoshko Lake. And I was hoping that it's gonna be as nice weather and sunny up on the mountain. And Prokoshko Lake is 1600 meters above sea level. So we went to Foynitz and met up with our guide. This is his jeep. So we fired up the jeep and started the 1600 climb to the lake. So the weather in Foynitz was also nice so we were even more optimistic. Halfway up the mountain our client was telling us that the temperature of the engine was starting to go up and that he was worried. And before he knew it we had to stop. The engine started cooking and our guard told us that we should stand back as he needs to ease the pressure. He burned his head a bit but he was okay. We have all started to think that the trip was over even before it started. But our guy doesn't give up that easily. So he just said let's just drive with the hood up. Let the engine cool from the cold weather. I asked him if it was safe and he said yeah yeah it's perfectly safe. With his head sticking out the window trying to see the road. I just started laughing and filmed the whole thing. <laughs> His head was starting to freeze when it was outside of the jeep, so he switched between watching through the small hole or sticking his head out of a window. This guy is a true professional. <laughs> I was thinking this is turning into quite an adventure, we haven't even started. <laughs> we came to the last hill right before the lake and it happened again. But this time it was worse because it started to stink. As we were waiting for the engine to cool down, I fired up my drone and checked if I can see Sarajevo. But it was covered with fog. Beautiful view from up here. I turned the drone around to check how far we were from the lake and if we could walk. As we discussed of walking the last bit, the guide surprised us by making the jeep start again. And we went off for the last bit. Finally we are out at this beautiful lake after all this struggle. Drop a like for the struggle, because the struggle was real to get up here. And now, to fire up the drones, let it rip around this secret gem.
flew over the lake, it was easy to see why so many local people visit this place each year. It's a secret local place not known to the outside world. It is surrounded by a number of old wooden shepherd huts called Katuni. These huts are made of wood and stone and are used as a shelter for shepherds and their animals during the summer months. Typical located higher elevations around the lake, providing stunning views of the surrounding landscape. You can rent the Katuni huts and spend the night in one of them, experiencing the traditional way of life of the local shepherds. These huts are equipped with basic amenities such as beds and a fireplace for cooking. This is a perfect place to visit if you want to rest from the outside world as the only electricity they have up there is through solar panels and fresh water out of the lake. And after spending a night here you can wake up in the morning and take a swim in the lake. Yes, you can actually swim in this lake during hot summer nights. After that you can go fishing or take up to the hike to the top of the mountain and watch these incredible views. Unfortunately Prokoshko lake is one of the most endangered mountains lakes. The lake is facing significant threats due to physical geographical process and regressive erosion, as well as an abundance of livestock huts and cottages in the southwestern area of the lake. This has led to a development of extensive swamp and marsh vegetation. That's why you should visit this place as soon as possible, so you get to enjoy the breathtaking beauty of this lake.